Alright guys, this is H4T, and I am super pumped today. I went up to a gun show in Cleveland, Ohio, and I didn't know if I was going to go or not today, and I finally talked myself into it, and I sure am glad I went because I found what you see in front of you, the XDS. I was very impressed with this gun from the first time I had seen uh, SHOT Show videos of it on YouTube, and i got to tell you guys, this gun lives up to its reputation because this thing is really awesome. Let me get into it. I'll open the box and I'll show you guys the gun up close. I'll do a disassembly for you and we'll just talk about the gun. Now keep in mind this is a pre-shooting review. I had to get a video up there right away because I, I love this thing but uh, I will have shooting videos and a video after I shoot it and give you my final thoughts on the gun. Now I noticed after I got home this gun must have been the one that was meant for me because as you can see 0606 that's my birth date so that's a good sign right there <laughs> that's when it was test fired uh, at the factory so let's get into it it's pretty tight in there so here it is the XDS this thing just feels great. They really, Springfield really did a good job with this gun and uh, just the ergonomics even for a big guy like me with a gun this small the slide is 0.9 up here and its widest point is only one inch even so for being a 45 ACP this is a great concealable gun that would be great for anybody who wants to uh, carry a 45 and have the smallest package available that they can have. It does have the fiber optic front sight. I'll try to give you a sight picture with it, but it's probably not going to show up too well because I got about 700 watts of light aiming it on everything here, but I'll try to show you the best that I can. There's the front sight. Of course the gun is unloaded. It has not been loaded at all since I've gotten it earlier today. Now they had a one with a stainless slide but I just wanted to go with the all-black version myself. The trigger pull on this was what I was really concerned with. Sometimes when these companies make a small gun sometimes they make the trigger pull really heavy and I was pretty surprised to see how smooth this trigger was and actually has a pretty clean break for a polymer gun. I would say this is on par with any of the full-size polymer gun triggers. It does have the grip safety. This grip safety is very light and very easy to activate. I'm not a fan of grip safeties myself, but this one here does not bother me. You know, it takes very little pressure to activate it. So yeah, there it is, guys. I'm so happy to get this. I've been trying to get one for a while now and checked with local gun stores and things and nobody could get these in. Okay, now what I'm going to do is do a little close-up shot with it before I uh, strip it down. And we're going to talk about uh, some of the way it's made on the inside. This gun does have a very solid feel to it. Nothing chintzy at all about it. I like the, how they did the magazines there. It does have the loaded chamber indicator right there. Uh, what this basically does is when you chamber around this rides up on the rim of the chambered round and lifts up out of the inside there. Here I can show that to you right now just by taking my finger. Basically here's what it does when it's forward and there's a round in there. It lifts up like that. So that's all it does is ride up over the rim of the round that's in the chamber. 
Okay, let me show you the magazine here real quick. It is five plus one. So you'd have a six round capacity if you carry one in the chamber, which I will. Uh, the follower and the magazine feels very good. It's definitely a no tilt follower. See, I'm pushing on the very extreme tip and it doesn't uh, tip or move at all. It just goes straight down, has a very solid feel to it. And I'm pretty impressed with the way they made this gun. They claim that they had to re-engineer the, the entire gun to make one this small. They didn't just take a gun and try to trim it down and make it this small. They claim that they re-engineered the entire pistol. And I'd pretty much say I have to believe that. It does have ambi mag release, which the way I'm trained, I will still shoot left and come back with my first finger and hit this side because that's the way I'm trained. I'm not going to try to retrain myself to do it this way. That's just the way that I do it. Okay, now I'm going to show you the takedown and we'll take a look at some of the uh, inside parts. You just flip the lever upward, release your slide, pull the trigger, and off it comes. A very neat little package is the first thing that kind of caught my eye when I took this apart. It has the double recoil spring there. You know, they had to fit a whole lot in a very tiny package to make this 45 this small. Really good, nice machine work in there. You can see there's your safety plunger that's uh, similar to the Glock safety plunger. The uh, it's the basically the firing pin block. Okay, now I'll take the recoil spring out and the barrel. <laughs> Not a lot of room to play there, guys. Okay, I'm going to get this box out of the way. Okay, that's better. Gives me more room. Now let's take a look in the frame, because this is one of the things I was concerned with. When you have something this small that's going to shoot 45 or 45 plus P, uh, you know, the construction on the rails and the steel, and it does seem to have an adequate amount of steel. Here's your front rails. So this is all steel right here on both sides. And then the rear rails are real beefy as well. I think that it's adequate for this gun and I think that it's pretty beefy rails that they put on here and I don't think that uh, there will be any problems but we will have to wait and see after these are out for a while. I don't know how long it's going to be before you can just walk into a gun store and find these. Maybe in your area you can, but where I'm at, that's just not the, the deal here as of right now. So, don't know how long it'll be. I know on Gun Broker right now, there's guys selling these uh, for more than what they cost, and I don't know. I didn't want to go that route, so... Flip the lever down, let her come forward. And there it is. Just to give you a reference idea, there it is in the palm of my hand. So for a 45, this is an awfully small, slim package. 
to go along with this to test it out, <laughs> I got some. Get out of the box here. Winchester Ranger 45 Auto Plus P T Series. This is a good self defense round. So there it is, guys. Let me know what you think. And I'm pretty happy with it. As far as right now, uh, without shooting the gun, everything seems to be very well made and very well designed. So we'll have to see when I get this out to the range and do some shooting videos with it. And we'll see if it still holds up and see if I still like it as much as I do now. But uh, I'm pretty confident that that I think it's going to work out for me. The only thing I'd like now is to... I'd like to get a good pocket holster and possibly like a Galco ankle glove holster for it, for the ankle. But um, I could definitely see this being a pocket carry gun for me. That wouldn't be an issue at all. I think, that, I think it would work very well. And maybe like a Kydex type pocket holster where the whole handle is exposed and you can just reach down and grab the gun out I think it would be great for that or backup carry on an ankle I think that would be an excellent choice for that alright guys there it is I hope you enjoyed the video I'm very glad I got my hands on one of these until next time this is H4T and I am out of there